Hello everyone. Today I wanted to talk about why we need to stop questioning God. Why? Asking why certain things happened, why I deserve certain things, was a big problem for me before. As I was always just wondering, you know, why? What did I do to deserve this? Why, God, why? Or whether it's just questions, you know, about why God does certain things in the world. Not everything is presented to us for us to know why. Now, it is good to search and seek answers, but to an extent. See, in 1 Peter 1, it says, Concerning this salvation, the prophets who spoke of the grace that was to come to you searched intently and with the greatest care. Now, it is okay to search for answers, but there will be certain answers that God does not present to us for a reason. And that reason being, we just won't understand. I have two examples that I can kind of explain to you about why we don't need to ask God why. One example is in Psalm 131. David says, My heart is not proud, Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have calmed and quietened myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Like a weaned child with its mother, we need to be content. Our parents tell us to do things all the time. And we always say, oh, why? Why do I need to do that? Why do I need to take the trash out? Why do I need to wear a helmet when I ride my bike? It's almost like our parents need our approval when we ask why. The same way that when you question God, you know, why can't I do this? Why did this happen to me? It's almost as if we're presenting that God needs our approval on things when he doesn't. The other quick little example I had is, let's say he did explain it. Let's say he did explain why these things happened in the world or to us. Think about it like this. As somebody who has zero code experience, when you just look up on Google, best chocolate chip cookie recipes, hundreds of millions, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of different recipes pop up in a quick second. Now there's going to be somebody to comments who actually knows how to code. Oh, well, uh, it's simple, actually. <laughs> Listen here, Mr. Coder or Mrs. Coder. You're a very smart person. I commend you for that. But a lot of people don't know why or how that happens. Now, when you, Mr. Coder, who was already typing the paragraph of how it happens, and you explain to somebody like me, even after you explain it to me, I still have no idea how millions of different chocolate chip cookie recipes show up in a matter of seconds. We just won't be able to comprehend it. Now, you may find out why certain things happen to you later on as you self-reflect, but some things just aren't for us to know why. Search for answers, but... If you can't find them right now, just know either it's not for you to know, not for us to know, or you'll find it later on down the path. So be content and try not to worry too much about things out of your control. God is the perfect planner and everything happens for a reason. God bless you all and I hope this video helped.